The meaning of Back to the Drawing Board Back to the Drawing Board means something you tried was unsuccessful and you need to start again or go back to the planning stage. The clip art shows a technical or engineering drawing board. Let's consider three interesting examples taken from modern history where initial design attempts failed and the engineers or inventors had to start again or make major changes to the original design before they enjoyed success. You may find the third example especially interesting. First, the picture shows American aviation pioneer Wilbur Wright flying a glider in 1902. The sentence reads, Orville and Wilbur Wright, American aviation pioneers, suffered repeated failures and often had to go back to the drawing board to adjust their plans before making a successful flight on December 17, 1903. In other words, they had to return to the planning stage on a number of occasions and make adjustments. In the next example, we see the top of a soft drinks can. The sentence reads, American engineer Ermel Fraze first designed a self-opening can, which unfortunately was a little dangerous as it left sharp edges. After going back to the drawing board, he revised the product and created the ring-pull tab. A quick reminder, continually improve your English. Click the subscribe button, the bell icon, and then all. Now in the third example, we see an aerosol spray of the popular lubricant named WD-40. The sentence reads, WD-40 started out as a rust prevention solvent and degreaser in the aerospace industry. WD stands for water displacement. Employees at the Rocket Chemical Company went back to the drawing board 39 times until they were successful on the 40th attempt, hence the name WD-40. So remember... If you need to start something again because an attempt has failed, or you need to go back to the planning stage and make a change, you can say, oh well, back to the drawing board. Has this video helped you? Then like, share or comment now. And build a powerful English vocabulary with my free course on Udemy. Go to goodenglish.online.